Good morning, friends. I'm Reverend Carla Leitner, part of our fabulous ministerial team at Unity San Diego. Today is oh, already Thursday, July 7th. Well, I hope you had a really great holiday and you uh, were able to maybe see some fireworks. I did something really cool. I went down to Imperial Beach with my daughter and instead of having fireworks, they actually had a drone light show. It was pretty cool. They did, um, they did um, helicopters and they made uh, pictures of stars and all kinds of things with these drones that actually worked together. It was actually very amazing. Um, but it was quite an experience. So I hope you had a happy holiday as well. Today we are talking about inner peace. Inner peace. Nothing can disturb my inner peace. Say that with me, please. Nothing can disturb my inner peace. You know, I like to go back to the daily words from long ago, which is why I have my, my phone here. Normally my phone would not be up while I'm doing this. But I went back to the daily word of March 1st, 1938. And kind of compared it with the daily word we have today. The daily word we have today uh, for inner peace talks about listening to our bodies and you know resting when we need to rest, um, making sure that we have that balance, that self-care between activity and rest. And so listening to our mind, listening to our body, and really slowing down, taking a break as needed. The daily word of March 1938 talks about that Christ presence of peace within each and every one of us. It says nothing in all the world can take this peace from us when we have found it and established it in ourself. No person or thing or circumstance can interfere with our peace when we know that Christ is in us and we live in, in the presence of peace talks about have you ever thought about being created and being in this human form that we have here and having this ability to come and obtain this inner peace and how we have this priceless gift within us that we just need to access with this time of foundation with this time of going in with this time of peace and meditation we have this harmonizing peace within us. The scripture in 1938 is John 16, 33. That in me, may you have peace. So with the Christ within, may we have that peaceful presence. And I think about times in how Jesus was, uh, it, the Christians were persecuted, his disciples were persecuted, how Jesus was, you know, put to death and then I think about 1938 and the things that were going on the, in the world at that time and the World War One had it was over I think World War Two was just getting ready to begin and how having that deep presence of peace despite outside circumstances how this probably centered and really helped those who were coming into new thought It says, surely the God of creation provided for you generous, generously and gave you your most priceless gift when God created you with an abiding sense of harmony and peace. So we have this outlet. We have this ability to listen to our mind, listen to our bodies, slow down, and that's taking care of us in this physical humanness that we have. Because we do need to take care of our bodies, our minds and who we are here but then we also have that spiritual sense that knowing that we are spiritual beings and we do need to go within and have that that foundation of peace within so let's take a couple moments today to get into that abiding peace of the Christ presence within us knowing that whatever is around us we choose whether we react or we respond. We choose if we're in fear or we're in faith. We choose 
We choose. The choice is ours. The choice is ours to be in a sense of peace or be in a sense of worry. And as we know, we can flit around and worry. I used to be the biggest worrier in the world. And all the worry in the world gives us ulcers, grays our hair, <laughs> you know, for me makes me stress eat. And you know, it just doesn't change anything. But having that sense of peace, that inner knowing that there is divine order, that the highest good for everyone is what is so important. And that I can do my part by being centered within, by having that peaceful presence, by living in that Christ presence of, of, Christ, of peace and harmony, that I can then spread that out and let that flow into my family, my community, the nation and the world. So let's just breathe in, friends. Oh, and let that go. Knowing that there are so many circumstances around us that continue to happen day after day after day. We turn on the news, we hear chaos, we see chaos. If it's not one chaos, it's another. It seems that this earthly presence, this, when we look for chaos, we find it. But then we know when we look for peace, we find that as well. Whatever our Google mind search for, whatever we look for in our experience is what we bring into our experience. As we take a moment to just breathe in, knowing that we are in a safe and sacred space here together, friends. Let's focus today on that inner peace, that inner knowing that all is truly well. That when we lean into those arms of God, when we relax and we listen for what is ours to do, when we throw our burdens on God, or throw our burdens on the God of our understanding, Jehovah, or whatever name you have for God, when we throw our burdens there and release and let go, when we are unattached to outcomes, but we know the divine order is definitely in charge, we can relax, knowing that there is always a bigger picture, knowing that I, have a choice. I have a choice to choose peace. I have that choice to listen to my body and listen to my mind, to take that time to relax, to rest, and to also rest my mind and my soul, my spirit, in the silence. Nothing, nothing can disturb the peace of my soul. Nothing can disturb that Christ presence within me as long as I allow it, as I allow that to flow in as and through me. So we breathe in that awareness, that knowing, that peace, that peaceful presence of Christ. And we listen to our body, we listen to our mind, and we also listen to that inner yearning that yearning that we have within, to have that peaceful presence. And we choose love. We choose peace. We choose joy. And we choose harmony. I am an expression of peace. And we say, thank you, thank you, God. So it is, and so it shall be. Amen. 
Just breathe in for a moment and let go. Open your eyes as you feel moved to do so, friends, knowing that at any time you can always access that time of meditation, that time of peace, that breath that brings us so close to who we are in our spiritual being. So friends, I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous July 7th. Looking forward to seeing you again next week. Please join me Sunday morning online on Facebook at Unity San Diego Facebook, where you can hear me speak about believing is seeing. You can also come. We are also open in person here at Unity San Diego, 3770 Altadena Avenue in San Diego. Our service begins at 10 a.m. We have fabulous gathering music that also begins at 950. So please join us in person, watch us on Facebook, or go to our, U Unity, our YouTube channel at Unity San Diego and click the subscribe button, please, and watch us there. Have a wonderful day, friends. Namaste. Bye-bye.